So I've done this video completely backwards. I have, I have done everything the wrong way. So what is this video? This video, now that I'm kind of recording the intro at the end, I'm doing a review of the Sony ECM, right? ECM B1M. And in one of the other clips, I'll kind of explain why I bought this one. But um, box, right? And I'm not taking the thing off to do the product shot. It's comparison of, let's say, this Deity mic. Right, this is what I normally use. And it's got, it's smaller, you know, it looks bigger because it's got the dead cat on. But this is a relatively small shotgun mic that I have been using in my videos for about a year. And I was using a Rode mic before that. But I like that this Deity has a microphone in the back so if I'm behind the camera, I can, I can also pick up better audio. Um, but I'm lazy, and there's a physical, there's a switch on here, like right here. There's a switch that 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 determines which microphone is being actively used, and you can use two at the same time. But I've been using that microphone, and it's done a perfectly fine job. But just the Sony A7C, where the microphone jack is, it does kind of get in the way of the pop-out screen right here. So sometimes the wire gets in the way. And um, listen, this is paying for convenience. This Sony ECM B1M microphone is considerably more expensive than the Deity mic. That Deity mic I think was either $150 or it could be even less, it could be even under $100. I think I bought it for like $89. And this Sony mic is over 300, but it gives me similar options. It gives me similar options that I had because it does give you the opportunity to do a wide spectrum of audio capture. So if you're behind the camera, you, you get the audio too. And again, I kind of mentioned this in one of the other clips that I, that I recorded. Here, here's, the, the, here's a picture of the, of the microphone. It is small, it's compact, it doesn't have the wires, and uh, I'm, I took pictures of the settings that I'm using on the camera that I'll flash up as I'm going through the different options that I filmed. But it, as a whole, especially after the last iteration that I tried, and that's the setting that I have right now on the camera, it is zero decibel setting, digital setting, which again, this camera, I'm saying again, you haven't seen this particular clip yet. This camera has an analog and digital setting. The analog setting is for certain cameras that don't support digital. So if you have a digital camera like my Sony a7C, it's a non-starter, just use that setting. It's a cleaner feed. But I have the noise cancel cancellation at zero decibels. And right now it's in the hot shoe format. So it's, it's pointing this way for audio capture. I'm gonna try one other test for this camera. I'm gonna go behind the camera. I'm gonna set it to the completely omni spectrum, the full spectrum, and I'm gonna test the audio capture and see how it sounds behind the camera. But uh, then I'm gonna to start to rip through some of the other clips that I filmed throughout the week uh, and me testing this camera. The other thing that I failed to mention is at the moment, this camera does not have the dead cat on, but all other tests, if you see me in the black sweater, the no dead cat. If I'm in a gray t-shirt, the dead cat was on. So um, that might be another thing, but I have to say that I'm rather pleased with the way the audio sounds right now at zero decibel, noise capture, noise cancellation on completely. Uh, and again, uh, and it's set on auto. So this is the setup. This is a little bit of sausage making, right? Because who really is gonna care about a, about a hot shoe mic, a Sony hot shoe mic uh, on a camera? There's probably very, very, uh, limited amount of people that are interested in this, but I'm interested in it. And, you know, I've looked at other videos and people have tested it out, but they really haven't gone through the different settings. The primary focus seems to be on the different audio, uh, the shape of the audio, right? So again, this shotgun setting versus the omnidirectional settings. A lot of people focused on that, but I didn't see a lot of people drill down on this mic in the reviews on the different decibel settings and um, and whether or not they, they sounded okay and what did what. So I hope that this is helpful. This microphone I think is two or three years old. 
that's been on the market. But uh, again, I didn't find a ton of videos on YouTube about this. So there were some, there were, and there were some good ones, but not a lot. So hopefully if you buy this microphone, uh, this is helpful. I hope you find this and I hope this is helpful to you. And um, yeah, so on to the rest of the reviews and the rest of the video so you can kind of hear the differences between the different settings and the different options. And again, I'm going to do one more that I'll put second to last, <laughs> but there's almost at the end. I'm going to, I'm going to set it to the complete circle, the complete audio, just to see how it captures audio in the rear. And you're just going to get a shot of my guitars because I don't, I, I you know, <laughs> why not? So here I am. And, uh, I am recording with my new Sony. Oh, this is going to be a mouthful. Hold on. ECM B1M. ECM B1M. Uh, I'm sorry, the table is shaky. This is, you know, when you buy something and like from Amazon and you're like, oh, like I don't really have a lot of time to deal with this right now. But you're like, I better check this out to make sure this thing works in case I have to return it. So that's that's what I'm doing. I, uh, I took it out of the box to make sure that it works. Again, I'm going to... That's spiking a little bit. Why, why, why did I buy another microphone? Well, you know. Well, I got another Sony microphone that was bi-directional. Um, it it kind of went like kind of went like that, but it didn't do backwards facing. And I really like that feature with the DD microphone that I had because sometimes, especially you guys might be watching some of those Japanese snack box videos, I'm usually behind the camera. And the audio is not great because I don't always turn on the back mic. So this is easier. This will be easier to do that. The controls on this are nice. And this thing's really, it's very inconspicuous. And I like inconspicuous when I'm out doing things outside because I don't want to look like that guy. Anyway, I'm hoping that this audio sounds good. I don't expect the video to look so great because I'm not doing any significant lighting. I'm just using the light above me right here and I'm just hunched over the table and I'm see my elbows and I'm making the camera very shaky I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna talk lower I'm gonna talk like this and I see that the channels oh it's really that's not that's that doesn't look like it's gonna be very loud so I may have to put this back up to normal audio I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna record again to see if it's just better I'm just gonna do normal I don't even remember what normal, what the normal setting is because it's been that long. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm going to stop this now. Okay. Now I switched the audio to analog on this. You know, I just decided to do one last test. And I put the dB level to zero instead of 10 and 20. And it didn't have the negative on there. But, but my goodness. I mean, at least looking at the audio levels... This thing is, uh, it's going to the top now. I noticed in the previous videos that I took that the audio was a little muted, and I didn't care for that. So I wanted to see if I can do anything to change it. It seems like with this digital microphone, when I try to go into the microphone settings in the camera, the, the hot shoe settings override so I don't have to go in there to change these settings which is nice because it's buried in the menus it's like it's like menu table 14 that I think that the audio settings are on so if I don't have to go in there to change this this is another net benefit to this damn thing so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back on the computer so I can actually see if it sounds better it it definitely seems to have healthier audio levels but is it too loud now did I did I Go in the wrong direction. This is audio in the back. I'm doing audio in behind the camera. And it sounds okay to me. And the audio levels look pretty good. And I'm right behind the camera. I'm going to step back a little bit too. How about now? How about now? Still looking strong. How about now? Still looking kind of strong. I'm kind of far away right now. And it's... Oh, my eyesight. So what happens when you hit 40? You can't even see that good, but it's looking pretty strong. And I'm, uh, I'm probably about five feet away from the camera right now. So if that's the case, that's, that's pretty damn impressive actually. So we'll see in editing. 
Okay, it's a couple days later, and I have been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about this microphone, and I'm trying to figure out what the right settings are. So definitely got the confirmation that the dB levels, I'm going to take pictures of the back of this camera so I can like kind of flip things up. But the dB levels, it's the 0, it's the 10, it's the 20. It's negative 10, negative 20. It's not plus 10 or 20. So 0 setting would be the loudest, and I can definitely see that. This particular test, I have the noise canceller on completely, and I'm very curious to see how that goes because I felt that the zero with no noise cancellation on was a little too loud. I'm looking at the audio levels, and it's not peaking, but it's looking strong. It's looking much stronger than the default setting at the negative 10 decibel levels. So I'm hoping the noise cancellation with the zero at the distance that I'm at right now will be a good combination for me and also maybe the noise canceling will be better um not that there's normally a lot of background noise when i'm filming indoors but my computer is kind of loud and if the heat or if the air conditioning goes on that does tend to cause a problem for me uh, a lot of times i have to shut the ac off and um you know nobody in the house likes me when i do that so um so yeah i'm hoping that this oh that looked strong I'm hoping that the noise cancellation gives me a little bit of a, a little bit of a boost here. Some other pieces of information: the analog and digital settings on the back of the microphone. There are some cameras that just do not support digital, so the analog setting has to be set. In this case, with the camera that I have, the Sony A7C, it takes the digital interface. There's no reason to toggle that, and any future cameras that I may purchase for Sony would also be the case. It's unclear to me whether or not this microphone will actually work on any other camera that's not Sony. It doesn't seem like that's the case. It seems like you are limited to Sony, even in the analog setting, because I think you need to, it needs to fit the hot shoe format. So, um, you know, other people who may or may not be using um, Sony devices, you're kind of, you know, if you're not using a Sony device, you're out of luck with this one. But I'm sure you have plenty of other really good options. You do, like the Rode mics. There's also a manual setting on the microphone, and then you can change the decibel levels as well. So the idea would be you can go in half steps. It goes up to 10. So you could potentially set the microphone to, to manual versus auto. You can set the decibel levels to 0, negative 10, and then negative 20. And then you can change the adjustment between 0 to 10. So let's say I found that the negative 10 setting with no noise cancellation cancel cancelization i found that that setting was just a little bit little bit too low you know it could very well be that maybe this one is too loud maybe i'd go with the manual setting i'm going to find out when i take this thing out i could go with the manual setting at negative 10 and then jack up the audio maybe to five right which would put me at a negative five db that's usually where i'm at when i have a physical wired microphone plugged into the into the camera it's usually at a negative five negative four so uh that'll be interesting but i'm gonna guess that the noise canceller dampens it a little bit so i'm hoping that the zero with the noise cancellation on is good and plus again i get the net benefit of having some noise cancellation happening as well but there is a manual setting and then you can switch between the negative 20 the negative 10 and the zero to get to the desired outcome and then I assume if you're on a manual at zero, you can boost it up to a positive 10, which would be loud as hell. Maybe good for outdoors, though. I have some other videos that I want to film today, and I'm going to test this out to see if this sounds like garbage or not. But the audio levels, again, because I'm looking at the screen, the audio le levels are looking kind of good. They're looking, they're looking nice. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed.